everyone. This is Davina De Campo with your RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9 Rundown of the Queens for Canal Street Online. Ah! <laughs> so, our first queen in our little rundown is Aja. The thing that's gonna be interesting is that she's a New York queen. So she comes across as really sweet and nice and you know, oh, but she's gonna have something about her. Otherwise, she can't be working in New York. You have gotta have an edge to you to work in New York. You have to. So it's gonna be really interesting to see when and how that edge comes out. That's what I'm most looking forward to with Aja. <laughs> Next up, Alexis Michelle. Now, Alexis Michelle is a slightly fuller bodied queen. There's a bit more of her than some of the others, but don't let that fool you. This is a serious, serious contender, and she is not afraid to do ugly. Alexis Michelle is a true transformation queen. Check out the video. And here we have Charlie Hives. Now, Charlie needs no introduction for all of us UK residents because, girl, we know you. We've seen you. You are the oldest queen in the universe. <laughs> we know Charlie really, really well. And she holds one of the most sought-after residencies in the UK at the RVT for their Sunday social every week. She's been doing that for quite a few years. So, you know, RVT, if you need somebody else, I can be available. Just give me a call. Tina DeCampo. .co.uk. All right, bye. <laughs> uh, the thing that's going to be most interesting with Charlie is because she's been in the UK for such a long time, she gets our humour. She knows what we're about. We're a bit more offensive than the Americans. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that translates over there and how she comes across. If you don't know who she is, check out her videos because her celebrity impersonations are renowned. It's going to be really interesting to see who she would do in Snatch Game because she literally has hundreds of different characters to choose from. <laughs> She's definitely one to watch. I didn't realize Belinda Scandal was in this season. Oh, no, it's Eureka O'Hara. That's right. I got it wrong. Sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> so, self-titled The Elephant Queen, she's definitely a comedy queen. And it would be remiss of me to not mention that there are similarities between her and a previous Ginger Minch contestant of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> it has already been noted by rather a lot of people. So, it would be, you know, it's we have to at least mention it. Are they the same? I don't think so. I think there's quite a lot of difference between the way that they perform on stage and what they're going to bring to the to the uh, process itself. Like, Ginger did really well, so it'll be interesting to see how Eureka does. I hope she does well, because I've been watching her stuff online and she is amazing. She's a great dancer, she's a great performer, she does the splits, she does high kicks. The only thing I wasn't that keen on is the hair. I don't think it's that flattering, if I'm completely honest. I think it makes her face look really big. Whereas if she'd had a softer wig, it would have made everything look just a bit more feminine. But I'm excited to see what she does. Did anybody bring a fishing rod with them? Because the next queen is fishy. It's Pheromone. Now, I think Pheromone might come across and be slightly underrated. But if you look at this stuff online, she's not like that. So in her reveal video, she's kind of quite laid back, quite reticent to push herself forward, but she's very different in a performance situation. So it's going to be exciting to see how that comes out through the process. I think she's also going to be really relatable for all the younger queens in the UK and the US because she is younger. Next up, we have James Mansfield. Now, I absolutely adore this queen's look, like a great big Barbarella. And she knows her history. There's loads of videos on YouTube, with interviews with people, makeup tutorials, and hair advice. One of the difficult things for James Mansfield is that she's a very specific character and that doesn't always translate that well to an audience. So it's going to be interesting to see what the judges say to her and how she interacts with the other 
contestant. Get a guy who can do both. And oh my God, Kimura Black sure can. That is one fit as fuck guy or girl. Like seriously, I would not, I would not complain if I woke up next to that in the bed or the skip or the street. The only thing that I'm concerned about for Kimura is there isn't that much of her online. Like there aren't that many videos of her performing. Uh, whereas with the others, there's like 30, 40 videos. There's like three or four of Kimura, which makes me feel like maybe she isn't as seasoned as the other queens, which can hold you back in this kind of competition. Uh, she's beautiful, there is no denying that. And that will carry her so far. Um, but does she have the necessary skills to take her any further? Does she have the necessary amount of different wigs to take her through? We're not sure, but we will find out. Come on, Kamora, do it for mommy, or I'll meet you in the bedroom. <laughs> Transformers, robots in disguise. Our next queen is a true transformer. That's right, it's Nina Bonina, Wiener, Chino, Wiener, Rina, Karina, Brown. Brown. <laughs> now, I've been watching Nina Bonina Brown for quite a while. Like, her shit has been popping up in my feed for a good couple of years. Like, I've been seeing her transformations for a good while. And every time I see them, I just think, oh my God, that is incredible because it is a full transformation. It's not just a little bit of paint here and, oh, I've got a gorgeous face. She radically alters everything about herself. Some people might have the opinion that, you know, she's doing cosplay or something that's less than drag. To me, this is all cosplay anyway, like I'm dressing up as somebody else. So what she's doing is pushing it even further. She's completely changing everything about herself. I'm really excited to see how she does. What will be her possible downfall is that these looks take time. You know, you can't completely transform your whole body and your face in... Sometimes they're just given 30 minutes to do it all. Next up, Miss Peppermint. She's fit, she's gorgeous, she's trans. She's the first trans competitor in RuPaul's Drag Race. We love the trans people here. We love you girls. Uh, like, it takes a lot of strength for somebody to go through that. And the, the best thing that's gonna be in this is that she's gonna be bringing that strength and that clear, concept of who she is. She knows who she is better than anybody else. And she's gonna be bringing that to the competition. That's gonna be the most exciting thing. Uh, plus the fact that she's fucking stunningly gorgeous. She's also been making lots of noise forever. Check out some of her videos. It's a real sort of R&B mix. Kind of imagine Scandalous by Mystique and uh, a bit of salt and pepper thrown in there and you get the kind of music videos that she's been making. Go and check them out. They're really, really camp, good R&B stuff. Check it out, she's good, I like her. So the one accusation that Peppermint might get is that she doesn't have to go through the same process as all of the other girls. What I would say to that is, she spent her whole life going through the process, getting to the point where she wants her body to be. So shove that up your ass. Alrighty. Here we are, it's Sasha Velour. Ooh, I love a bit of Velour, mate. Oh, very nice on your skin. Gorgeous, go down the shops in your Velour tracksuit. Perfect. Uh, she's from New York City, and uh, she's a bit of an art queen. Like, check out some of her videos, and they're really artsy. It's great, beautiful, beautiful imagery used in the videos. The only, the only question I have for that is that art queens don't tend to do that well. The reason being that they rub the others up the wrong way because there's this sense of, I'm more educated, I'm more intelligent, I'm more, uh, my point of view is more valid on what makes dragon art, you know. So, will she do that? Because we've seen it in the past and it doesn't translate well at all. You just come off as a dick. Uh, or will she be actually more of a team player and be able to listen to what other people have got to say? I don't know. From what I've seen of her, like her looks are all fantastic. Super bogey, really high fashion, uh, 
There is, of course, and it would be stupid of me not to say, because it's been said by a lot of people, there is, of course, the obvious comparison that she looks quite similar to the princess. Do I think she's like the princess? No, again, just like Eureka. I don't think she's like Ginger. There's, there's more to her than what we saw from the princess. Uh, and, uh, you know, bring it on, girl. Show us. Tell me what you've got. Who's she going to do in Snatch Game? There's the question. Who's she going to do in Snatch Game? Probably Anna Wintour. Or will she be somebody really arty? Maybe she could do... Kate Bush, hello. I'm Kate Bush. I'm going to do some songs for you. They're great. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the list goes on and on and on and on. It's Shea Coulee. Now, I got no idea why, but this video rubbed me up the wrong way. Like, just the listing of, I'm so this, I'm so that, I'm so this, da 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 I was just like, you know what? If you have to tell me how fabulous you are, you're probably not that fabulous. She's beautiful, there's no denying that. She's perfectly put together. And there's definitely a fire in her eyes. There is definitely the fire to succeed. The only thing that I have with that is that maybe there's a bit too much competitiveness and not enough softness. Because let's be honest, those who are super competitive like that don't always come across that well. If there is more softness throughout the process and we actually get to see her, she lets her guard down and actually just admits that, you know, none of us are perfect. That's the thing. There are things wrong with all of us. And once you can admit that, then you're a much more likable character. Trinity Taylor, she's our next queen. Uh, she's picked a very strong look for this video, hasn't she? The blue hair and all the blue, the kind of space age looking thing. Now looking through her videos, she is a serious performing queen. Like, this is a girl who knows how to turn it out. And that body. Oh my God, she has such an amazing body. She is gorgeous. Being another pageant queen, the only worry is will she get lost in the crowd? You know, there are a number of pageant queens who haven't done that well because in the pageant system, you just not, it's not necessary to have the same level of personality as is required for a program like this. Um, having said that, I think she has a really cute personality. She's got that kind of, ooh, claw my way to the top. I think she's got a kind of really goofy personality, which, I like. I think she comes across really well. And we're at the end. Last but not least, Valentina. A sexy, beautiful Latino queen. Now, the, the best thing about Valentina is that she has good English skills. Because, let's be honest, those Latino queens who don't have good English skills don't tend to do very well in the competition. It tends to hold them back. You know, there's some sort of some of their drag seems to get lost in the translation. So hopefully, because she has good English skills, she'll be able to, to match where the others are. Um, and it's not because the Latino queens aren't as good as the US queens. They're just as good, equally. But it's just that because of the language barrier, they find it so much more difficult to translate what, what their drag is about to the audience and to the judges, really. So I hope that she does well. My only concern is that she's maybe a, a little forgettable. Like, she's beautiful, she's gorgeous. Um, clearly interested in fashion, like, clearly interested in fashion. And her makeup is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with her at all. I just have the feeling that she might be a little bit forgettable. You know, she might get lost in the herd. And we've just seen the video of her and Michelle Visage. Michelle throwing out you know, the feeder lines for her, and she just couldn't quite get there with Michelle. So that would be a worry for me, for her, you know. Is she able to, to you know, keep that level up where all the others will be operating? Thank you so much for joining us. We've had an absolutely marvelous time. We hope that you have as well. Now, don't forget to join us again, because every time an episode has aired, we will be joined by a special UK queen to give their reaction to the episode and we'll be finding out my thoughts and their thoughts. <laughs>
as we go along. So join us for that and we'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye. Campo and don't forget click here to see more videos and don't forget to subscribe